Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to determine which Raspberry Pi 4 version we currently have. This process will work with some of the other Raspberry Pi versions out there, but I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, which I have right here, to test out this process for you guys. So right now there's a Raspberry Pi shortage, so it's really hard to actually find Raspberry Pi products that are brand new. And if you do locate them, they're going for about four or five times the price they were going for a few short months ago. So a lot of people are buying these secondhand on websites like eBay, which is perfectly fine. There's no issue with that because Raspberry Pi makes a great product that does last a really long time. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if it's two years old and it's been used a little bit, it's performance deteriorating or anything like that. You obviously want to make sure that it was taken care of. So you know, check your computer board, make sure nothing is missing or bent or broken or anything like that. But picking up one used shouldn't be an issue. So one of the potential issues that I do see with picking up a Raspberry Pi 4 secondhand is you want to verify that you're getting what you paid for and you're getting what's advertised. So with sites like eBay, sometimes you get sellers that don't really know what it is that they're selling. So I could obviously look up that I have a Raspberry Pi 4 right here. Google that and see if there's three different versions out there. There's a two gigabyte, four gigabyte, and eight gigabyte version. And I maybe don't know how to tell the difference and I just list it as one of the three options. So it may not be accurate to what is actually in their hand and what they're selling you. So you wanna make sure for that reason, you also wanna make sure that you're not getting a seller that's being dishonest and advertising an eight gigabyte version, for example, when they really only have a two gigabyte version. Each version has a different value associated with it. so. The two is worth less than the four, the four is worth less than the eight. So if I was dishonest trying to make a quick buck, I could grab a two gigabyte version, list it as an eight gigabyte version, and you may not be able to tell in time for me to get my money and be out the door. So you want to verify that you're getting what you paid for so you don't get screwed in the end. So I'm gonna show you guys the best way to do this and there's another way to do this too, and I wanna mention that really quickly because it's not the best option. You can look at the memory module, which is this black rectangle right here, dead center on your computer board. You can look up the number on there, cross-reference it with some databases online, and be able to tell sometimes which version you have. I do find that there's a lot of discrepancies here, which is why I don't recommend doing it that way. With some of the older versions, I do find it to be a little bit more accurate than the newer versions out there because the newer versions, most of these databases don't have a accurate list of the different codes that are on the boards these days. So what we're gonna to do to determine what version we have is we are gonna connect this to our TV or monitor. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to connect the micro HDMI cable. Then we're gonna go into the port closest to the power supply. And then we're gonna turn on our TV or monitor and then connect our power supply cable to our Raspberry Pi 4 computer board. We're not gonna insert a micro SD card into the micro SD card slot. We're not gonna connect our ethernet cable or any of our USB connections on the front of our computer board. We're only connecting the micro HDMI cable and the power supply. My all right, so all I have done so far is just inserted the micro HDMI cable into my Raspberry Pi 4, turned on my TV monitor, and also connected the power supply cable to the Raspberry Pi so it boots up. And you're gonna get a page that boots up like this. Down at the bottom, it's gonna say, failed to open device SD card because we don't have an SD card inserted into the micro SD card slot. But up at the top, you can see the first line is what we want to pay attention to today. And that says Raspberry Pi 4 model B dash 4GB. And that 4GB indicates that we currently have a four gigabyte RAM version of the Raspberry Pi 4 computer board. So if you have a two gigabyte version, it's going to say two gigabyte. If it's an eight gigabyte version, it's gonna say eight gigabyte. So this is definitely the best way to determine which version you currently have for the Raspberry Pi products. The codes that you'll find on the memory module just aren't up to date, so that I really recommend going this route as opposed to checking those. But if you're unable to boot up your Raspberry Pi, then your next option would be to check those codes and see if you can cross-reference them to determine which version you have. All right, so you can see from this process, it's super easy to jump on here, power this Raspberry Pi computer board up, and be able to determine which version you have. And if you're buying secondhand, I highly recommend doing this because I've bought some secondhand products on eBay or even Amazon, and a few times I have run into this issue where it was misadvertised and I didn't get what I paid for. So definitely check and make sure that you're getting what you paid for, otherwise you will run into some issues depending on what you're trying to do with the Raspberry Pi computer board. So that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, smash the like button for me. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section below. 
Be sure to subscribe to the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel. I do a ton of different videos, mostly based on retro gaming, but I do some stuff on the Raspberry Pi computer boards as well. So lots of great content to see here, tutorials, gameplay demos, reviews, uh, forgotten favorites YouTube series every Monday and Thursday night where we dive into some of our favorite retro video games and a lot of new stuff coming very soon to the channel as well. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. You can hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching.